Now we're going to go through the steps to set up your Furion battery monitor. Before you begin calibrating this to your system, you'll want to make sure that your system is not charging or have any inputs of load. So you can see here that our battery is charging and we're going to shut off our shore power and disconnect any trailer or truck or tow vehicle that we have connected that could be charging our battery. You're going to want to discharge your battery as much as possible, but not discharge it below 10.5 volts because that can damage your battery. Once you are ready to set your battery capacity for 0%, You'll press the percent button and the plus arrow to display that percent. Then press and hold the V down button for at least three seconds and that will set the battery monitor for 0% battery charge. Once you are ready to calibrate your system to your specific battery, you can enter your amp hours. For your batteries connected in series, you will add your amp hours together. For batteries connected in parallel, your amp hours will not change, the voltage of your system is what will change. For our system, we are looking for that amp hours. So you'll click the center button, which is the AAH, and you're going to click that two times to display your amp hours, and then press and hold that button for three seconds. Now you can calibrate what your specific system has for amp hours. Our battery, has a rating of 85 amp hours. So we're going to lower that to what our system is. Now to set that number, you'll press the set button again. And now our battery monitor is displaying how many amp hours we have left on our system. Now that we've calibrated our system, we're going to wait until our battery completely charges. And this may take over 24 hours for your battery to recharge. So now we can turn back on shore power or reconnect to our tow vehicle. With our monitor displaying that we are charging, we're going to wait for our amp hours or for that battery percentage to show that we're at 100% charge. And then we will set our 100% charge and calibrate it for our system as well. Now we can press this percent display for three seconds and that will set our monitor to 100% charge for our battery. With your battery monitor calibrated to your battery bank, You'll want to make sure to check that the numbers are correct periodically because your battery can discharge and change over the lifespan of the battery itself. And if you are replacing your battery, you'll want to do a recalibration procedure each time you get a new battery and it's installed. Also, these numbers will be saved in for the lifetime of the calibration process or until you go in and manually change these numbers. When you are trying to read your display, there's a few things that you're going to want to know, specifically the symbols that are displayed on the monitor. Here you can see the light on our power monitor is glowing on and off, and that means that our battery is in a state of charge. You can also confirm that your battery is receiving amperage by the little plus sign that's on the display. If you wanna check the status, either the percentage or the amperage from your battery, you can cycle through these modes by pressing the buttons on the front. And here we just cycle through the percentage, the amperage, and the voltage of our battery. Now this backlight will change for a few different reasons. If it is glowing on and off, your battery is charging. If your battery is discharging, the backlight will stay on steadily. And if nothing is happening, so it's not discharging or charging at your battery, the backlight will be off. You do have an option to turn the backlight off and you'll press the volt button and the percentage button at the same time for three seconds. And this turns the backlight off. 